Understanding how neuronal communication occurs at the synapse is one key to understanding the most interesting questions, like how memories are stored and how learning occurs. Indeed, scientists now believe that disruptions of normal activity occurring at synapses are involved in several of the disorders we call mental illness. Our current understanding of how synapses work is represented in this computer animation. As we dive deeper into the cell's own structure down into a single axon terminal at a synapse, we see small round objects which are the synaptic vesicles. They are like tiny balloons, miniature containers filled with chemical neurotransmitters. When an electrical impulse reaches the nerve terminal, proteins in the watery soup orchestrate the movement of these vesicles toward the membrane, forming one side of the synapse. The visualization is slowed down here, but in real time this process happens in less than a thousandth of a second. As the transmitter-filled vesicles touch the inside of the nerve terminal membrane, their own membrane fuses with it. When this happens, the inside of the vesicle opens into the synaptic cleft and transmitter molecules diffuse across this tiny space to reach their target receptors on the other side. This causes electrical conduction to occur, completing the propagation of the neuronal message across the cleft. The processes of neural conduction and neurotransmission occur by the billions throughout the human brain. It is this complex interplay of chemical, electrical, and physical events which underlies the rich tapestry of everyday experiences, the sights we see, the sounds we hear, the feelings we experience, the activities we initiate, and the ideas we ponder. Even slight errors or variations in any of these neural events can lead to the kind of abnormalities which underlie most of brain disorders, including mental illness. By understanding the intricacies of neural activities and how they are related to cognitive and behavioral processes, 